Some say I'm the voice, give my people hope I'm the chosen one, some say I'm the GOAT This that Holy Ghost, don't you overdose This that living legend, hands around your fucking throat Get it, I am a menace, I am the end and the fucking beginning It ain't no question about who was the realest Niggas are gimmicks, they gotta be kidding Follow my lead and I'll show you the way So, the question is, do re women really want alpha males? Now, let's look at where the terminology alpha and beta even came from. And there's even one third one that y'all may not even didn't know about. We'll talk about all three. Uh, the alpha, beta, and the third one, which is omega, are terms that um, are applied to the animal kingdom. There was a white scientist, and what he did was he went out here and studied packs of wolves. He deemed the male in charge as the alpha male. And the alpha male has certain privileges. The alpha male has his pick of the litter of the women within the herd, pack, or whatever the group of animals are called. That's what an alpha male, he gets to pick at a litter, and every other animal caters to the alpha male. The beta is subservient to the alpha male. They're not subservient to other betas. They're only subservient to the alpha male. That's it. Y'all been using this terminology wrong. The beta male is only subservient to the alpha male. Betas are only subservient to the alpha males. And then, last but not least, there's the omegas. The omegas are subservient to everybody within the entire pack. They get no respect. This is... When y'all really using the word beta, it really should be omega. Alpha, omega. And a lot of these dudes that, that y'all think alphas really are omegas. With alpha tendencies. Which makes them betas. Which is really what I think y'all want. Uh, I'll explain. Now... It's, it's funny how the human being will take terminology that's used for the animal kingdom, specifically to the animal kingdom, and will apply it when it fits our need. When we start talking about the monogamy, then all of a sudden it's like, well, no, we humans, we're not animals. We can do whatever we want. But we still classify males, and particularly males, because there are such things as alpha females as well, but in particularly this happens with males, um, that will use this animal terminology when it comes to that. But alpha males, again, I'll repeat this, because maybe y'all want to change what y'all want to say y'all want. Alpha males have their pick of the litter of whatever woman they want to have within their packs. And ain't nobody getting mad over it. He can choose whoever he want, mate with whoever he want. That's fine. It's normal. That's what an alpha does. The leader also has certain privileges. Again, y'all might want to change y'all wanting an alpha because y'all ain't trying to share no alpha. No, no alpha dick. Y'all ain't trying to share that shit, right? And then when I look at this thing, and based on my own personal, you know, research that I've done, whether it's been talking to men, women, uh, experiences of my own, what I notice is that women really want alpha energy to be exclusive to the bedroom. And some of y'all have heard me say this before, but this is very true, that the alpha is typically going to be what women want within a bedroom. Because an alpha demands his kingdom to be ran a certain way. Women say they like alpha males because alpha males stand up for themselves. They lead. Women like a man that leads and stands up for himself, long as he's not standing up for himself, to her. Hmm. Interesting, right? Once a man starts standing up to her, then he becomes an asshole. 
Because she only wants him to stand up for himself outside. Not within his kingdom. An alpha male demands a certain type of uh, 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 behavior within his kingdom. Women want to fly off the fucking handle, be emotional roller coasters, bring their baggage in, and an alpha male is, in their minds, an alpha male is deemed the guy that's going to put up with it, who's going to handle it, who's going to take it. But in reality, an alpha male is the one that's not going to take it. He is not going to allow himself to be talked to any old type of way, disrespected any old type of way because of your baggage. Now, many women will claim that um, a man is supposed to understand, and particularly black men, uh, as, as, it, as, it, uh, as it pertains to black women, they're supposed to understand what the woman has went through, in which case as to why she is the way she is. I disagree with that in every way. Now, I've never deemed myself an alpha male. Um, women have always deemed me as such. It is what it is. I don't think it's nothing to really hang my goddamn hat on because being an alpha male has granted me no type of would be power over behaviors. I'll say that again. Being an alpha male has not granted me any power over behaviors. Attitudes hasn't granted me any power over those things. An alpha male to a woman is supposed to take all of this. And if he can't take it, then he's deemed a beta male. Which again, isn't even, it shouldn't even be used. It should really be Omega. The Omega Man lets anybody, anybody, triumph over him. That's the Omega. You can't have a man or want a man that stands up for himself in the world, but don't stand up against you. Doesn't make any sense. But you want somebody to understand, black men in particular, when it pertains to black women, understand your plight, understand your pain, understand your frustration, but be your punching bag. No, you're able to emotionally manipulate a man, cry a little bit, you know, and whatever behaviors that you are engaging in, he sweeps it under the rug. Just throw him a little pussy, he'll be okay. That's not an alpha male. Mm -mm. But that's the man you want. Y'all need to correct the terminology as to what type of man that you want. This may be what's causing a lot of these problems. Y'all using the wrong terminology, the wrong ideals. It's one thing to be understanding of somebody's plight. It's a whole other thing to expect them to allow you to abuse them because of what you've been through. Same argument can be made for men. So I'm not want y'all to come in. This ain't just one sided. This just so happens the topic is women right now um, because this terminology is used. W w women use this terminology a lot. But even with men, a motherfucking man that's sitting around verbally abusing, physically abusing his woman. Can't come give me no long story, a backstory as to why he acts how he acts. I'm going to condemn the behavior completely. I don't care what he went through with his mama when he was young, where his daddy was, how many times he had his heart broken. I don't care about all of that because you came back out here like you was ready. You probably should have sit your ass down in the corner somewhere until you decided to be healed from those experiences. And then you come back out here amongst the fold. Healing is a decision. Correcting behaviors that alienate people from you, these are decisions. There's no, people try to make it spiritual and all this shit. There are certain decisions that you're going to make as a grown, as a grown up. You're going to decide how you want to be. You want to keep people in your life or you want to keep running the motherfuckers off? What you want to do? You can blame everybody. But what are you going to do to change this? Typically, women will have these ideologies facilitated in their little, uh, you know, sisterhood powwow huddles that they have. 
if you ever privy to the conversation that go on within these little huddles, the woman is never responsible for anything that happens. It's always the man's fault. Every single time. There's something wrong with that. These little huddle groups that facilitate this fuckery, this, these behaviors, this fucked up attitude, fucked up way to cope with anger. Because again, it ain't about being mad or being angry. It's how you cope with it. What do you do once you're mad? If you're exploding and being sorry, then you have a terrible coping mechanism. And expecting somebody to sit around and deal with that is bullshit. Women will deem the man that can deal with that is the alpha. That's not the alpha. The alpha is going to say, get the fuck out of here with that bullshit. They're going to demand that their kingdom be ran a certain way, a certain order. But ain't nobody want to acknowledge that, though. Women ain't really trying to acknowledge that. They just know what they want. Or at least they claim they know what they want. They got a list of qualities they want in a man. Whether they're worthy to get all these qualities in a man, they don't really worry about their worth and whether they're worthy of the things that they're even asking for. Who am I to sit here and want a certain type of woman, but I'm not willing to make any changes about myself to obtain that certain type of woman? That doesn't make any sense for a man to do it, but women get to do it all the time and it goes unchecked. You want this, 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 and this, but you're not willing to deal with your baggage. Your trust issues, your communication issues, the fact that you go from zero to ten over everything and not just within the relationship. Over everything. Doesn't matter what it is, just turn it up. And if a man can't deal with this, he ain't strong enough. I would argue that that man simply has dominance and selectiveness over his kingdom. And don't nobody have the time to deal with that shit because you haven't decided to heal. What do women really want? This is the question at the end of the day. Uh, I don't see it being alpha males that they claim they want at all because they're not trying to change their behaviors to adjust to dealing with an alpha male. They just want the alpha male to take their shit, take their emotional baggage, take the yelling at, take the fucked up shit said in arguments. Things that man might have told them in confidence, they turn around and throw it in their fucking face in an argument. Insult the man. And be able, at the end of all of that, to simply say they're sorry, give him some pussy, and he be okay. That's not an alpha male. Women say things like, well, you know, certain things are this, he did something that made me respond this way. Somebody else is in control of your emotions and how you cope with your emotions. That's bullshit to me. I've been made to be upset a many a day dealing with women. And you, any man that's been dealing with women all his life like I have, you'll know there are many things that can make you upset, but how you cope with it. Do you turn into an abusive ass verbally and physically motherfucker? Do you, is this what you become every time you're mad? Every time you're mad, do you want to start talking about your goddamn childhood? Like everybody ain't have a childhood that might not have been perfect. This is your excuse. You use your childhood. And an alpha male is supposed to be able to put up with you. Not you try to make yourself something that nobody has to put up with. No, that's not important. He's supposed to be able to deal. And I would argue that men that are dealing with this, they can't be alpha males. The woman might be an alpha because again, in the animal kingdom, females can be alphas too. 
If she's able to emotionally uh, emotionally manipulate you and you just stay and you just put up with it, then that's not alpha shit. And you can go do any amount of research on how alphas conduct themselves and you'll see. No. It's not what they do. We might want to bring into question the terminology that we use it. Maybe we should just break it down per characteristics. Because women just want an alpha male when it pertains to sex. That's it. Uh, protection. A man that can fight. That can defend her honor. That's important as well. Being a provider. That's important as well. But that's not all it encompasses to being an alpha male. Y'all got this shit fucked up. Alpha male ain't gonna let you run amok. Not gonna allow it. Now you may get the first run amok on him. He he may it may be early in, but he gonna tell you, hell no, nah, I'm not putting up with this bullshit. You need to change this bullshit. You need to fix your coping mechanisms. Because I'm not gonna be your goddamn punching bag. I'm already dealing with the world. You see, this is the type of peace that an alpha male is going to demand. Do y'all really want alphas? Overall, not just in certain areas. I mean, overall, do you really want an alpha male? You might want to change what you're praying for. A lot of y'all pray for, you know, <laughs> praying for certain types of men. But you ain't praying that you curb certain behaviors within yourself, which I know prayer is is malarkey, if you will. It's going to come down to you making the decision to be either be healed or not. And until you make a decision to be healed, you probably should be sitting your dumb ass down in the corner. But since we cannot seem to go without sex, people end up in situations where they are dealing with people all the time, even if they're damaged. Even if they're broken. Because they can't go without sex. We always got to be fucking somebody, right? Mm. <sighs> Women will argue that men don't even know what they be talking about. When men are telling these stories, they always hit them with the, oh, well, you know, those are the type of women that you are attracting or those are the type of women that you're around. But you could talk to men from all over the motherfucking nation. So, I mean, you could try to minimize it to justify the fuckery, which is what women do. Typically, they're not trying to correct or change themselves. But this is happening all over the fucking place. You can talk to men all over. Good, decent men who aren't really doing any real wild fucked up shit, still getting the same types of attitudes because women don't know how to gauge. Typically, it's either, it's going to be 10. Ain't no two, three, four, let me adjust my anger per the situation. It's all 10. You don't deserve no alphabet. Typically, women are going to be mad at men when it comes to other women as well. Y'all claiming y'all want alphas again, per what alpha male is, they have their pick of the litter. They're supposed to be able to be with whatever woman they want. Y'all might want to change this terminology. Women ain't trying to share no alpha. Mm -mm. No, he hers. An alpha can't be yours. It's impossible. That may be hard to hear, but y'all need to ask. You need to change what you're asking for then. Not my fault, because I didn't make the goddamn rules. You can go do the research on what an alpha male is yourself. That ain't what you want. You want somebody who's going to put up with the verbal abuse with a smile on their face. Understanding in their heart. You shouldn't be 
something somebody has to put up with. Now, anytime you talk about something like this, and men may know this, you're going to be met with a lot of denial. Every woman is perfect. Every woman is flawless. Um, you know, men just aren't appreciating the perfection of woman. That's usually what it is. Like, you don't appreciate my perfectness. And this is a, a flawed mentality because you're not perfect. Nobody's perfect. You're not without fault. Even though this idea is uh, perpetuated amongst your, in your female huddle groups. Your little vagina meetings. And you're, you know, you always get to be victims in these meetings. And there's always the big bad man who is not appreciating the qualities that you have. Um, and everybody's kind of gassing themselves up as some perfect being. And particularly when you're going to be dealing with women, they, everybody's just perfect. They ain't never doing nothing wrong. They could never do nothing better. That's a problem. Are you the kind of woman that an alpha male would even be attracted to? Have you checked and asked yourself those things? Now, that may be hard to hear, but it's real. It's one thing to want certain things. It's another thing to be worthy of certain things. When you have conversations like this, it, they'll be met, and I'll be able to see in the comments as well on this video, they'll be met with a lot of women claiming that this shit ain't real. Denial, you know. A lot of denial going on. Um, and a lot of women expecting that strong men put up with them. Strong men only stand up to people outside in the world. They don't stand up to their woman. That ain't what women really want. They want to be able to control you. Manipulate you. Verbally abuse you. Even physically abuse. Again, y'all can keep acting like this shit ain't real if you want to. Ain't nobody got time for somebody sitting around being abusive. Ain't no alpha male about to sit through that. And listen to you tell a story about your childhood. And understand that all the while you're not curbing the behavior. I can be understanding in a certain to a certain extent. I understand the story, but I'm not about to spend years of my life doing this with you. We're not going to spend years fighting, arguing. That ain't what an alpha male is going to do. Maybe a beta male, because again, the beta male is subservient to the alpha. A lot of alpha females running around out here. Alpha women. A lot of alpha women out here. And they got them some beta males, but really that's what you want. Maybe you don't want a man that's subservient to everything in the world, the Omega, which would be considered the, the bitch-ass nigga in most circles, letting everybody walk over him. But you want to be able to walk over... Um, you're your man and treat him however and he accepts your apologies whenever for your behavior. That's a beta male. Because a beta male is only subservient to the alpha. Maybe you're the alpha female. Have you ever thought about that? And you need somebody that's going to be subservient to your fuckery. That's a beta. Maybe that's what you really want. You just hate to ask for it because it don't sound as good as, I want me a strong alpha male. No, you don't. You don't want that. You want somebody that's going to do whatever you want them to do. Take control in the bedroom. And when outside of that bedroom, nothing. Grant him no power. And women like to say shit like, well, you know, the men I've been with ain't gave me no reason to follow their lead. 
How was you with him for years then? Whose fault is that? Why is that continuing to be everybody's fault but yours? If he's not worthy, what are you doing fucking him? I don't understand that. It, 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 it confuses me. What are you doing then? I've heard that too many times. Well, he wasn't worthy of... How long was you with him? Three years? How? How was that possible? You married to him? Really? How is that possible? Because he gave you what you want. He gave you the marriage. And that wasn't even good enough. You still going to be on his motherfucking head. Every, everything he does, every small thing he does, you at level 10 on his ass. Y'all don't want no damn alphas. That ain't what y'all want. Y'all want a man that's going to bow down to you. Because you are probably an alpha female. At least you perceive yourself to be such. Or maybe you've never even thought about the fact that you may be such. You just want somebody to tag along with you. That's your happiness. Baby, let's do this. Let's do that. Let's do. You want somebody that's going to just do whatever it is you want them to do. That's a beta, ladies. The alpha that you claim you want, he's not going to do whatever you want him to do. Not going to work like that. He's not going to be accepting of your fucking behavior just because you're a black woman and you've been through some hard shit. No. Not going to be accepting of that. A lot of y'all whip betas right now. And you think they alphas. Because they put up with your shit. You believe that they alphas. Because they put up with your shit. Because to a woman... That's what being strong is. Putting up with their shit. Their emotional bullshit. All up until they grown. No. You grown. It's time for you to make some decisions. As to one. Do you really want an alpha male? Because I don't think y'all do. And then two. What are you doing to be worthy of? What characteristics do you have to be worthy of an alpha male? And pussy and head ain't enough. You clean up. That's not enough. You can cook. That's not enough. These are things that you would need to have to be self-sufficient. Cooking and cleaning. How are you at interacting with your man? What talent do you have there? Can you have agreements with your man without exploding? Does it have to be a fucking volcano erupting every time you have a problem? An issue? Is the world supposed to stop because you had a bad day? Does he have to have a bad one too? An alpha male ain't about to do that shit with you. And particularly an older alpha male, like no. No, hell no. I'm not going to take up too much of y'all's time with this shit because I, I know that it's going to be met with anger. There will be women telling me that, you know, these are just my, it's just me or, and it's not about me. This is about the stories I've been hearing my whole life. The experiences I've had, even if I'm deemed an alpha male, it doesn't curb behaviors. And I've always found that to be very interesting. Like, you... You want an alpha male, but you don't want to adjust for one. But you're going to have to if that's what you really want. Or is the truth that you really are fine with your beta male? Because he allows you to rule over him. He allows you to control him. That's really what you want. I think there needs to come a time where women just need to be honest about this shit.
Alpha Bells ain't putting up with that. He can hear your long story. He can be understanding of your long story that you may have, but he's not going to put up with the behaviors. Just as well as a woman, a woman shouldn't put up with a man's behaviors that's fucked up if he got a long story. Of a fucked up childhood or whatever. Like, there's no excuse for this shit. You grow and you make decisions. You either treat people right, you either want to get along with your person, these outside self-sufficient characteristics that you shining up that you got, the like cooking and cleaning and that don't matter. Those are things you have to do even if you was by yourself. You got to clean your house. You got to cook for yourself. Pussy and head. Ah, these things are cool, but they're not helping this motherfucking uh, uh, man as far as how he copes in his life. Nor is his dick going to help you how you cope with this life. It may be nice for those 30 minutes. Some of y'all like to do it all night. It might be nice for that time, but how do y'all interact and and, and 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 cope with life together functionally not being mean towards each other should nobody have to deal with that that's bullshit and an alpha male ain't gonna do it. a true alpha male won't be doing that with you at the end of the day I really feel like we need to change these terms y'all need to start naming characteristics as opposed to just saying I want me an alpha male that leads no you don't no, you don't. Because you don't have the mentality that's going to allow you to follow because of all the long stories of all the other niggas you had in your life. You don't even have the mentality that's going to allow you to follow or it allow these behaviors to be called out and you acknowledge them for what they are and work on them. I've called out certain behaviors. I've gotten some progress before in my lifetime. You know, I've gotten that. I've gotten that progress. But it came at a cost. And I was actually more patient for this function back in the day. At 35, I'm not trying to hear no long story as to why you dysfunctional. I don't want to hear the long story. Are you going to fix it or not? Nah? Because if you want an alpha male, they're not going to put up with that shit. Any man that is putting up with that shit from you, it's not an alpha male. He's a beta male and you're an alpha female. And he's subservient to you. The baddest, biggest, toughest motherfuckers in the street. I done hung around them. You get them around their girls, girls talking to them like they're crazy. Getting to physical altercations because she done hauled off and smacked the shit out of this motherfucker. Probably punched him in the goddamn face even. Y'all acting like that. Don't act like you're not. That's a beta male. That you have. That you were sent. And if you feel like you're missing something, it's well, you don't really want what you think you want. But that's all the fuck I want to say. For now. For now, this is all I'm going to say on this topic. I'm sure the comments will be filled with women talking about, uh-uh. Listen, if it don't apply to you, then fine. Ignore it. Um, thank you for watching, you know, listening. Um, that's fine. But to continue to be in denial because you may not have these uh, characteristics is bullshit. And that's really crippling the game. Because y'all have to acknowledge that you'll hear women say all the time, I don't hang with or even associate with other women because their attitudes are terrible. Women will say that. But if a man says women's attitudes are terrible, then all of a sudden everybody's up in arms denying it. Like It doesn't make any fucking sense, really. Nobody wants an explanation as to why the attitude is that way. Motherfucker, you need to change. Or sit somewhere in isolation by your goddamn self. That way you're not having to blame every man you come in contact with for your attitude. That way you ain't having to tell the same story over and over and again every time you enter into a new relationship with a man. Nobody has time for that. And particularly in our age demographic. 
I wish I'd have had this mentality when I was a young man. But now, no. Because I get mad. I get frustrated. But I still don't sit around going to 10 on women just because my childhood was rough and I'm black. No, that's not enough. That's bullshit. You don't sit around and claim you love somebody and you can only handle them in a fucked up way because you don't know no other way. The other way is the opposite of what you're doing. It's very simple. Very logical. The opposite of what you're doing, that's the way. You don't be mean to people. You don't treat people like that. You don't do that to people. You claim you care about it. You're trying to be in a relationship with of any kind. Friend or otherwise, or boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever the fuck it is. Married, it doesn't matter. You don't treat people like that. That's not okay. And an alpha male is not the man that's going to sit around and be so strong that it lets you just, you know, treat him any old type of way. No. Hell no. An alpha male is going to require you change your behavior if you want me in your life. God damn it. Or I could be gone. Easy. Hmm. But again, this don't apply to you. Don't, 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 don't be extra. You know, if you, you're in a successful relationship or whatever. Be in a successful relationship. Do what you gotta do. Don't be mad. Like, there's no need for anger. Keep in mind, and this is what I need to make sure I say in all these videos I make like this. Keep in mind, I'm not your man, and I'm not lowering your dick count based on what I'm saying. I'm not. So don't be mad. You still got your man and your or whoever, whatever niggas you fucking with. You still got them. They still on your team. They still gonna put up with your shit. Ain't nobody paying me no fucking attention. But I need to say this shit because I'm tired of seeing this. I want me an alpha male. I want me a leader man. And no, you don't. You want somebody that's gonna take that bullshit. That's what you want. And at some point. Even the person that's taking your shit, he going to get tired. It may take him a while. It may take him some years. But he going to get tired. And you're going to be blaming him. Calling him weak. Y'all like to do that shit. Y'all like to insult men. Oh, he weak. He, he was a weak ass. Shit, nobody have to be strong to deal with you. We got to be strong to deal with the world. Not our sanctuary. We shouldn't have to come home and be strong. No. That's wrong. Hmm. Y'all comment if you feel need to comment. Shout out Team Rob. Y'all already know what it is. Mad love to everybody. Follow me on social media. Links in the description box. If you want to donate to me, links in the description box as well. If you want some t-shirts. Check the links in the description box. I have a spreadsheet. A lot of people ask me about t-shirts. I'm like, the link is right there in my description box. Now like they don't know where it's at. It's in there. Everything's in there. So come fuck with me, y'all. Um, and if you don't want to do any of that, just share the video. Comment on the video. Let me hear your thoughts about this. I don't want women to take this as a, a personal shot or an attack or anything like that at all. Because that's not what this is about. It's about us understanding or everybody understanding when we going to be out here wanting certain things, if I want me a certain type of woman, then I need to be a certain type of man. With women, though, y'all want a certain type of men, but you don't require anything of yourself other than superficial shit. Like pussy, head, and maybe you washed some dishes. No. That's not enough. Alright? I'm out.